everyone, welcome back to Witty Wealthy. Today, we will be doing an experiment. It's water cycle in a Ziploc bag. The materials we will be needing for this experiment are tape, cup, some water, a Ziploc bag, and we will be using a blue marker because we don't have blue food coloring. And instead of throwing away the marker, we will be using it so we can color the water blue. We also have a permanent marker and some scissors. The first step we will be needing to do is to write the steps of the water cycle on the Ziploc bag. Let's get started. First, we will be drawing the sun. These are its rays. And a little happy face. Now, we will be drawing the sea. Next, we will draw some clouds. Next, we will be drawing the first step, evaporation. Evaporation happens when the heat of the sun goes to the water and the water gets evaporated and turns into gas. The next step is condensation. Condensation happens when water vapor in the air cools and becomes liquid water, which becomes clouds. The next step is precipitation. Precipitation happens when condensation creates it in the forms of rain, sleet, hail, and snow. Once precipitation reaches the ground, the water can take a different journey depending on where it lands. when all of the raindrops go down into the water. This step is called collection. Because when the rain, hail, snow, or sleet falls down, the water collects it. And we are all done. The four steps, remember, are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. The next step is to color the water. First, we need to pour the water in this cup. This should be right about enough because you don't want to fill this part. Okay, now we'll get this marker and we'll remove the top part so we can get the ink. Now that we put the water inside the cup, we will now be coloring it with this blue ink. Now remember to touch it in the edge so your hands don't get any of the blue pigment. Just wave it around like this. Wow, do you see that nice baby blue color? Now 
Now that we're done coloring the water, we will now put it in the Ziploc bag. Now, we will put the blue water in our Ziploc bag. Next is, we need to get the scotch tape, cut it into two pieces, and then hang it out a window. Now, let's start cutting two pieces of tape. Now, let's stick them onto the Ziploc bag. It's time to hang it in the window. Come on! In order to get better results, we have to place the Ziploc bag with water in the window, having direct attraction from sunlight. Now, let's wait for one hour and then come back to see what happens. Do you see the condensation in the bag? Let's check again in another hour. After an hour, as you can see, the droplets are falling. This is precipitation. The water cycle is very important in knowing the weather, such as rainstorms and thunderstorms. Hello everyone! Today, I'll be telling you some facts about the water cycle. Did you know that the sun powers the water cycle? Did you also know that the major processes of the water cycle are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection? The sun, when it heats the water, the water evaporates and turns into gas. Within the atmosphere, clouds form when water vapor in the air cools and becomes liquid water. This process is called condensation. Condensation creates precipitation in the forms of hail, rain, sleet, and snow. The fresh water comes from rain and goes to glaciers, springs, streams, ponds, lakes, and much, much more. Water is essential to all us living things because we need it to live. Without it, we cannot survive. Trivia time! Did you know that 97% of the world's water is salt water? That means only 3% of fresh water is up in the earth. That's why we need to conserve it. So conserve it, kids! Thank you for watching! Hope you enjoyed the video. And I also hope that you learned something about water cycle. 